Professor Liam, if you prefer. You can still call me Professor Bill. I still go by that. Um, somewhere somebody wrote a song called Sunglasses at Night. I'm not sure anyone's done anything yet called Sunglasses in the Rain, but maybe I'll have to write one. Anyway, I'm here at uh, Skyline Drive, and one of the things that we're interested in talking about here in this vlog is gross domestic product. And it's amazing how many different ways gross domestic product um, comes up here or how many different elements do. So, um, excuse me for just a second. I bought this pass. Um, when I bought it, I contributed to consumption. Uh, this is my personal use, um, you know, no ongoing long-term benefit from it. Um, when the government built that structure behind us, the sort of toll booth here, that was actually a government purchase. So we already have what we consider in GDP, C and G. And I have something else interesting here. This is not exactly related to um, Skyline Drive, but what the heck. I was traveling elsewhere in Pennsylvania um, last week and I came across this record album. And um, I'm a musician, so back in the day I played these guys, uh, the Waxing Poetics were contemporaries of mine and um, liked them a whole lot and we were a little competitive. They won the competition. But what was neat is I found this in Pennsylvania. As it relates to economics though, this is not considered in GDP at all. Why? Well, it was considered in GDP in 1989, the year it was released. No new gross domestic product here. Well, sit back and enjoy the show. Uh, we'll talk more about GDP. Any good discussion of GDP begins with a basic equation, C plus I plus G plus XN. C is personal consumption. I is gross domestic investment. G is government purchases, but not transfer payments. And XN is net exports. A problem with GDP, though, is it doesn't consider things like pollution or inequality. Should those be subtracted? Here's an interesting list of the largest economies on Earth. Look how far the U.S. is ahead of the next largest economy. This list is interesting because it divides a country's GDP by the number of people. No, every American doesn't have $59,531, but that's the average. And look at the countries missing, like China and India, with big economies. Yeah. <laughs> 